The draft I, yep. is brought to us by DraftKings, the king of drafts. Do they even know they're the king of drafts? No. We need to talk to them. DraftKings, what they will tell you is they're the official sports part- betting partner of Major League Baseball. That's cool. I don't know if it's king of drafts, cool, but that's cool. You should go to the DraftKings Sportsbook. Place a bet. Jim's going to place a bet right now. He's geared up. I will. He's going to find you a winner. If you're a new customer, oh my God, you can play for free. And thousands in prizes with your first deposit. Pick a lineup, two pitchers, a batter, standard, the salary cap. Do that fun business or you can find a bet, which Jim is about to find for you and get a winner. You should download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOMBOY, bet just $5, and win $200 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code JOMBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. 21-plus restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission. See show notes for details. Details. We're doing the pet peeve draft. We're going to show you guys. We're going to do random numbers to dictate the draft order as we do. Happy birthday to Ben B. Happy birthday, Ben B. I wrote down number 82. I wrote down 28. Jake also wrote down 82. So that's bizarre. So all twos and eights. And you're down 28? Mm-hmm. I think we have to write new numbers. Are we all I twos and eights? We're all just got um, World Series number 28 on our mind? Do we... Do I have to write a new number? Should we all... Yeah, you have to write yeah, a new number. Yeah, yours is void, dog. Yeah, yours is <laughs> void. No yeah. twos, no eights. Uh, uh, not both of them. No eights. No eights. Fair? Yeah. Okay, I wrote down your number. What'd you write down? 17. 32. 12. Okay. Pinned Six. low. Pinned low. It's 55. Oh, Matsui. What'd you have? Uh, 32. So you are get the first choice. Mm. What would you like, mm. young BBD? Well, you guys set the tone. I'll take a 3-4. Oh. Wow. How about that, BBD? I'll take I'll take the first pick overall. I will choose to take the sandwich. This is a pretty niche topic. It's like personal pet peeves. Mm. So right, if I expect like no one to. I don't care at yeah. all. These are my if pet you're, peeves. If you're listening yeah, to this, probably your number yeah. one is in yeah. here. So number one pick: people that care about grammar on social media. Oh wow. <laughs> That's my number one. I can't. As long as you know what you're getting. I can't think less of a person mm. if they read a tweet and get upset about a misspelling or a miss comma or a wrong spelling of your. I just feel like I just look down on those people and I like, how could you let that? How could your brain care right. about that? You knew what it meant. That's the pet peeve part. If like, you, yeah, if you, you don't know what it, if it's so bad that it changes. No, if it's genuine, right? Like you don't know what what is right. what does this say? But if you fully know what it says, right? But have to feel the need to correct the grammar, even though you fully understand it exactly. Ah, get out of my life. If I could like mute a, a type of people on the internet, hmm. I would immediately. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. That was my easy... That was the first one that I was like, what's an actual thing? Right. Like, I really like don't care about or I care about whatever the way you want to say it. So that's my number one. It's a good pet peeve, active, very active in your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Massively active in your life. Um, if you know what's being said... That's the thing. That... That thing where you can type a sentence and you can say like, uh, you know. Talking about like ending sentences in a preposition. Yeah. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Like technically you can't say. 
like you can't end a sentence with of. No, 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 not that. Not that. Give us, you got a most recent example? Give us someone to hate. No, I'm, uh. Looks like you're typing a sentence. So, like, the fact that you can read that with no problem, you know, that, that, that this is a thing that as long as the, all the letters are there, the first letter and the last letter are there, you, people can still read it. I just, I don't know the first word there. I see the house, there was a huge animal. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough to do. Usually there's like a scrambler. But once I read, did this, you, there's like a website that does this test. Right. Like, do you know what this means? Right. Yeah. Like every now and then. And then I'm like, yeah. well, what the fuck does spelling matter? Yeah. If all you need is the uh, correct num- amount of letters, the right. first and the last, Spelling doesn't matter at all. Yeah. All right. Huge pick. Appreciate you. Huge pick. Um, I will be going with something that is a a generally accepted pet peeve uh, throughout time. It uh, hits a nerve that uh, is shockingly unreal for me. Uh, It's loud eating. Mm. Um, If you are a loud chewer, I have nothing for you. Um, What about gum? That's kind of the reason I didn't like it for years. Like the, I don't like the chewing noise. Um, You dated a girl who was like the loudest chewer in the world at the time. And I like had her stop I don't know if you remember that. Um, so yeah, um, no, it's a it's a it's a massive one for me. It's it's a get up and leave, like an environment for me. I can't literally be around it. I agree with you. I was gonna take chomping gum with my next pick, but I think it you kind of the fold, same it thing. Folds it's in, chewing, but loud chewing. Chewing's loud chewing is gross, and I don't like it. But people that chomp their gum or smack their gum. Mm. Like, that weirds me out even more. I'm like, what are you doing? Sucks. It's chewing. It is chewing. It's, chewing. it's a good one. I think that's a good Some pet people peeve. Use it. Yeah, and it's, it's, you know, it's one of the bigger ones out there. But, yeah, I mean, there's just... And I think there's some people that don't, you know, whether it's different foods or whatever it is, that it invokes a different chew out of you. Like, there's, there are times when my sweet Jessica... Um, She's been a loud chewer, and I've been like, whoa, where'd that come from? I hate that. Um, but obviously not a consensus or regular thing from her because I would have murdered her by this point. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things in life that I don't know if people know how to properly address. If you're seeing someone, it's usually not worth the battle. Um, so, yeah. Not really anything you can do about it when it's happening. It's just like, it's just the way that person eats. It's in for a bad time. Good pick. Thank you. Beavers has two now, and we've set a tone for him, which he wanted. Uh, how's how do you feel about the tone we set? These on, are good picks. On par with your stuff. Yes. Um. My first pick. Mm. Printers. Well. Why don't they ever work? Tweeted okay. a couple weeks ago, printers, but they work. Okay. Like as an idea. Because they're just, there's always something up with the printers. It's never that straightforward of a fix. I print a lot here. Like, it just, it, it drives me nuts. When I lived at home, um, for some reason, our family's printer was in my bedroom. And my parents, I remember that. my parents print stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Just all the time. What family prints? Um, and it's in. It was in my bedroom, and I, I said so much. Like, there has to. There has to be another place for this. And because printers don't ever work, they're like, dude, like it. It hasn't worked when we put it in other rooms. So it's Here's that's where a good it goes. Luck room. Yeah. Be like, like probably once every two months or so, I'd I'd get like woken up on a Saturday morning or something, and like my dad had to print something. Cause it's like by the bed, like 
printing. So, I mean, it's it's a peeve that's also turned into a life thing for you. Yeah, it's just been nonstop in, in my life. Okay. Printers, they stink. My other one, all, I don't want it to be viewed this way, but okay. in a way it is. Because I agree, I don't like people pointing out grammar mistakes or, or things like that. But bad grammar, it does bother me. I would never go out of my way to like comment it to people. Oh, wow, being rival enough. picks. But I, I think like the specific thing I want, um, people messing up a part and a part, like saying you're a part of something, those are, the, it means the opposite thing. Hmm. Like when people like announce that they like join a company or something. They're like, I'm so excited to be a part of this. Huh. And they use, you want to be a part of it. A part of it means you left. Apart from it. So that's the one that drives me crazy every time. Because people do it, like on LinkedIn, you scroll through. It's like, this is where you got it. This is the, the one social media platform. You got to get this right. A part? I want to be a part, part of something. Similar. So I guess like the, the grammar issue where it's like, you got, you're like, it's wrong now. Would be like the pics. It's the same as like, when people do resign versus resign, like in the off season, mm. again, this off season the Yankees are going to resign Aaron Judge. They're not going to resign him if he if they resigned him. That essentially means he's gone. It's the opposite. Conflicting similar words, maybe, would be the way to put that. Yeah, but I don't like people not like learning what the difference is. Resign and resign. Apart and apart. I've never once noticed uh, apart and apart. But I am. I drafted the opposite. I don't yeah, notice I, these yeah. things. Like I do, and I and like I'm not somebody that's going to go out of my way to like. I agree. People who like just exist on the internet to comment on it and like live. For that's typos. like what the reply is. It's like, all right, shut so up. do you want me to put a part? What do you want me to type in the draft? That's about? such a good question. A part and a part mix up. I'm going to do a pet peeve, uh, but it's not on a list. Um, but it's it's one that triggers an emotion in me that I don't get in any other part of my life. I'm going to go with long s- traffic lights. Um, if I sit at a traffic light, I have a pretty good rhythm. You know, if you're on the more popular street, you know it's going to be a pretty quick light. Your street is active. So you know what? You're going to sit there. You know, tinker with the radio, check your phone, do whatever. And by the time you're ready to come back and go, it's pretty much go time. The light will be green. If you're on a less active road, you know you're going to sit there for a minute. And that's fine. So, you know, make sure, did I drop a pen earlier? Check your phone, whatever, you're stopped. Then you come back and, you know, you might breathe for a second or two. It's like, all right, this light going to change? Okay, it does. The street lights in Florida will stay one color red for multiple minutes. And my blood pressure, it's one of the only things that makes my blood pressure just shoot up. It's a horrible system. I hate it. It drives me nuts. Got into an accident once because of it. Did you just decide to go? Pretty much. <clears throat> no, the light turned green, and I was so hot. I was the second car. I was like, oh, thank God it turned green. Went, bumped the car in front of me because they didn't car start going. didn't go yet. Oh. Let me go to my board. Uh, um, I forgot I spilled some bagel in my cup. Hmm. Tastes like onions, which I don't like. Ooh. Let's see. I am going to take what are you uh, this. What are you thinking about? People walk walking slower than me right in front of me. Mm. I don't like that. I'm a big I I don't walk fast. I'm not a fast walker. I'm not a slow walker. But I just need open an open lane in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a big and you know I think this is something you learn when you're friends with someone or you you and you date someone uh, is like, you know, we got to overtake these people right now. Right. Now, I think, Jake, you and I, we're pretty simpatico of when we need to overtake someone. 
And we kind of both have the same go. Like, yeah, let's flank around and right. get back to normal. Katie, she thinks it's rude or something. Right. To overtake someone. But, so I'm not like mad at the person. They're just walking their speed. But it, if I get stuck behind someone, I'm like, you'll see me be like, do that fucking dance. Like, oh, oh, oh. Right. Start huffing and puffing. And now that I have to race in the subway a lot, and I'm going on that, what, Broadway that's popular, I mean, you get trapped behind some people that are just walking at an unbelievably slow pace. Not city speed. Not city speed, yeah. You've got stakes in the, in the game now at, the, at that time specifically. Yeah. You've got to get home. But also just like being forced to walk different from your natural gait. Right. Sucks. Right. Like just even, even if like the speed isn't even like an issue, but like you just have ended up too close to them. Yeah, yeah. It's like I got to be like aware of how close I'm being right now. It's like I got to either like fall back or, or just go like hard for a few here. I yeah. Like driving, it's similar. Like I just don't want to be right behind somebody if I can yeah. avoid it. We get very good reads on the read of traffic. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes yourself and my sweet Jessica sometimes are walking conundrums. I'm like full tilt when I'm walking. It's like I'm living a video game. Sometimes like Jess, well, no, sometimes Jess will get distracted or like if you're, if something's happening, you'll get locked into your phone and yeah. you're a focused phone person. Yeah. Like when I'm walking on the streets, I'm like, I'm navigating my every move. Oh yeah. So I walk and I don't, I don't want it. I just like, I need a moat cause I don't pay attention to yes. anything. I try to not pay attention to others at all. Because I don't want to get, well, I'm, I actually like people watching, but like in a frustrating way. Right. Like when Katie's in the car, all she's doing is getting annoyed by other drivers. And I'm right. like, I haven't thought about that car. Yeah. She's like, you see car's doing? I said, no, no, I haven't even, like, I know they're there, but I haven't, yeah. I try to not think about others. actually been part of you yet. Because, because some people just get, she just gets in the car, she gets mad at everyone around her. I'm like, why are you thinking about them? I get frustrated if there's, if there's a, if Jess has lost the focus on the walk, and she's now put me in a bad situation where the speed of our walk and the pace of other people approaching, now I'm in a position where my walking has become fucked up because our lack of group foresight. And that frustrates me. I think I more people that stop in the middle of the sidewalk and mm. talk, and now like clearly everyone has to go around you, just move to the side. If yeah, you have to. You have to veer off. It's like yeah. a car. Yeah, you, have like to, you don't just stop your car in the middle yeah. of the highway. You yeah. veer off to the side. Yeah. Again, because I just like a clear lane. I used to read while I walk. Clear lane guy. I used to. There's like a walking path around. And I would bring my book and I just be looking down, walking and reading. Yeah. Red Silver Lightning's playbook. The book needs multiple things happening. Whole thing on one walk. It's a nice day. Look at that. What's your second? Yeah. My second pick is when people say, what a small world about things that just are fucking normal and happen. Ooh, okay. I and like that's that. That's very niche to me. And Katie read that and she laughed and she like said, uh, she said, people do do that. I get, yeah. I, she, I would have thought of that, but that irks me a lot. I used to have friends in, uh, I have friends, my friends in California, we would go to a bar tw 25 minutes to the next town. Mm. Hmm. and see a familiar face hmm. from our high school, and they'd be like, what a small world. Yeah, and I'd be like, no. 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 That's... No. 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 Like, I don't know how to explain to you. <laughs> That's you, closer to a joke. You can't. But they're statement. not. I know. They're like, wow, we're at the same bar. We're a small world. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's just like, the odds of this are pretty likely. Right. Like you know, minutes away. one time, my mom was in Australia. We were living there, mm. and she stopped at a rest stop, and my cousin, who lives in New Jersey, mm. was in th stopped at the same restaurant because he was doing a tour for some Jewish bat mitzvah like tour type thing, mm. and we didn't even know that he was doing that in Australia. And same exact rest stop in the middle of the outback. That was like small world, small small world. world stuff. That's arguably mm. not small world. Well, that's the saying though. Right? Wow, what a small world! Right. Like it was so connected because. Right. My mom was in the bathroom and she goes, oh, my, my nephew is doing a program like this. His name's Andrew. And they go, Andrew O'Brien? He's right here. Like, 
That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, some people like to say, like, what a small world when things that it's like, no, that's normal. I will go with another, uh, another PPP, personal pet peeve. This is a weird one. It's only happened a few times in my life, but it's the reason I don't have Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> if I try to buy something and I am not allowed to buy it, for whatever reason, I am driven to a place of insanity. I've told the story on here a few times. One day I caved and I said, I'm going to get Spotify. All the kids are using it for their music. I tried to buy Spotify over and over again. And I tried different credit cards. I tried different avenues. And I think their just website side was down one day or they weren't accepting credit cards. And I've written them off for life. I tried so hard to give them my money for their product. And it wouldn't happen. And so I'm, I'm trying to think of a couple other examples. I mean, the... I just tried to place this Tim Castro bed and it wouldn't go through. It's a bad feeling. Um, similar. similar. And like, that's the... Uh, Got it now. I think the what I normally reference after that story is the scene from 40-year-old version where... Uh, Jonah Hill tries to purchase the the high heel boots. <laughs> and she says, no, it's an online only store. Uh, He's adamant. I just, just really want these boots. I just want to get these boots right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a very personal, odd pet peeve that makes me feel an emotion I don't normally feel. So how do you want me to label that? We can't I would say stuff. trying Try to buy, to buy something, something and can't. Like, that's what I wrote down okay. on the, when I just write it. Have the money for it. You know, plus some people think like you, know, you might not be able to afford it or something. Right. Like that, but yeah. Okay. Good one. I mean, I guess it could kind of tie to if your credit card wasn't working for whatever reason. I get that. I've never really yeah, had the other end. Right. Because it, it is, I am trying to depict the other end that the business. Yeah. Like there's something is, is, is wrong. Is accidentally or purposely refusing your business. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did have one. Like I remember I tried to buy something on like eBay and they were like, you can't, you have to use a PayPal account to buy this, this item specifically. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's annoying. And I was like, no, Dude, like I've, we have so many other ways. Like, I get it. I, that should totally be a choice. Is Costco still, like, Amex only? Remember, that was a thing. You had to have an American Express car to shop at Costco. Could have been a thing. Might still be. Might still be a thing. Might it's like still be a thing. Sister of that. Like, when, when they don't take the Amex, like, all right, I do have another one. It's not that big a deal. But, like, in that moment, I'm like, gosh. It has money on it, man. That feeling, I understand yeah. that there's that's like the way Amex does things. Like a lot of stores don't cooperate well. This with transaction it. should be happening. Make it happen. Like, I don't want to hold up these other people either. BBD, I think you have too. I think so. Okay, dude. Some of these pet peeve things online are so funny. Like one of them lists rain. Yeah, and like that's I that's yeah. where I don't that's, I don't know the. Dislikes versus pet peeves. Like, I don't know yeah. what it is. Or, like, just a thing that we all agree is not good. <laughs> know how we label the rain? Weather. Like, I don't think I can be a peeve. And, like, I guess you can... You, rain. Like, a specific person, you could, like, really... Like, rain just bothers you. And then, yeah, that would be... That would be a pet peeve. You particularly don't like That would it. be I don't like rain. Yeah, I don't think rain can be a pet peeve. I don't know the exact definition, but there was a lot on that list that was like, these are just... Like, if you don't like rain because it gets you wet, then you're just, you're on the team. You made the team. <laughs> like this this one, number seven on the list, having a big job dropped in your lap at the end of the week. Like that's yeah universally disliked. That's not Show a... Show me the person just, that likes that. It's, not it's a, just a thing that's not a pet, liked. My pet, my pet, pet peeve, peeve, getting stabbed. Yeah. Nightmare. I actually put murder on Night, mine. Nightmare. <laughs> yeah. nightmare. It is. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm taking murder. Uh, no. Okay. 
Um, but it's kind of similar to the ring. Uh, specifically, I am drafting wet socks. Okay. Because I got like, well, yeah, I, I don't like being wet generally. But like, yeah, I can wet socks. I if, if they get wet because I like stepped in the puddle or whatever. So it's interesting, right? Because that we, specifically, no one would say they like love that. wet socks. But I think it's a common answer to. This, I can reference but. like myself. If my socks get wet, it's not a day runner. Like I'm gonna survive. It and ruins my day a bit. Shrug. But I know there are people that if their socks are wet, it's game over. Because like I can deal with it. Like I've. I walk to work in the rain. It's like uh, I step it's in like a I'm, lot of puddles. I'm fine with my hair getting a little wet, or like my shirt will, will get dry eventually. Like the wet sock. A lot of I step in an odd amount of puddles. Interesting. There's one one day in October, walking to the Bronx last this past year. It was like it just poured that morning, and like I was soaked when I got to the office, mm. and it was like I had to like go home and that. change. I don't step in a lot of puddles. I just thought if I said it casually, yeah, you'd like be fun. It's a pretty good line to just throw <laughs> out there. I because also like if, like other articles of clothing, you have, you can like get over it or like they they will get dry soon enough. I'm a sock. The sock ain't happening, and I don't like wearing socks anyway. Really, but I need my socks to be tight. Like I can't do wrinkly. I had a friend who just would like have wrinkles all in his socks and just put his <sighs> foot in his shoe, and I'm like, what are you doing down there? Mm. Like, That's got to be uncomfortable. Slight hole, I'm out. I can just feel that on the heel or mm. the toes. Like, I can't do that. I just bought a ton of new socks for this reason. If they get start getting loose around the ankles and start falling into my shoe, it's in the garbage right away. Mm. I'm pretty, like, uh, no-nonsense sock guy. Okay. So if I had a Once wet sock, that, that sock's just off. And now I'm sockless. Yeah. BBD saw me. Well, yeah, because like, if, if I get home, it's just off anyway. But, like, like I got to work, and my sock was off. BBD lost. I very much remember this moment. Um, I think it might be the only time BBD lost respect for me. I took off my shoes one day and I had massive holes in my socks. <laughs> BBD was just like, <laughs> kind of got serious. And he's like, you can't do that. And I was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not thinking. I'm never thinking. Got to make my fourth round pick. Um, I suppose what the draft pick is is like a bad hair day, but like wow. the hair just like won't cooperate. Like as somebody who at this stage of my life, I take a bit of pride in my hair. Okay. The days that it's just like not doing what I need it to do. It's like do I need? It's, it's like do I need to take a, like another shower, get it fully rewetted? Done that? Done that move? Are you a never times. a hat guy? I have I ever seen guy. you in a hat? You see me in hats. Okay. But it's like I one like my hair and it's usually in a good spot. Um in like middle school, I was always hats. And then like I found out in college, like, no, you have like good hair. It's like, oh, okay. Mm. So then I kinda stopped. Like you see me in hats. Okay. I break them out. Um it's like I'm close to, to the haircut time. That's usually when I like when I get one of those is when I know like all right gotta make this appointment or or get it done. Bad hair days. Yeah, it's like it's just not doing what I need it to do. Uh, I give like the stuff in there. Okay. Especially back here, I had a bad middle school class picture. Ooh. It's like it's a bad mm. hair day. Never Jake. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Jake, you're up. Yeah, I did. Um. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, we're doing pet peeves still? Yeah, it's the pet peeve draft. Pet peeves. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um... I think I'm going to go with one that actually is on the Zippo list you sent me. I'm starting to think this one may have been the one that may have sparked your Jake would like this pet peeve list. Um, it's knuckle cracking. Yeah, that was on there. Yeah. Because I crack my knuckles. Yeah. And it, uh, it gets kind of an audible reaction from me almost every time. Um, I'm a neck cracker and a back cracker. 
Um, I'm not a knuckle cracker. Um, not an uncle cracker. Well, I'm not a knuckle cracker by choice. Right. My knuckles crack when I make a fist, which I do sometimes. Right. Just went to a chiropractor for it. I don't like it. Yeah. Well, it's fair that you don't like it. I'm just saying I'm not out here just... I can be annoying about it, but if I make a fist, my knuckles crack. Right. And then if I don't, they get locked up. But like knowing that, you know, you could not... No, they get locked up. Well, it could not happen around me. You know what I'm well, saying? we're around each other like six hours a day. Like as a baseline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's um, a couple rooms, bathroom. Go into the bathroom to crack my knuckles. I didn't know if you, when you start, I didn't know if you were going to mean like you don't like, like cracks as a, as a whole, but no, knowing you I mean, mean specifically I've, the knuckle. I've got the elbow, I got the shoulder, it's knucks. Yeah, because I don't do my knuckles. I get my thumbs, they're the only things that go. The rest of my knuckles, I don't. And I don't, as much as I like, lis- I like, I like listening to other people do stuff, the knuckles, I don't actively dislike it, but I don't like it. I don't like listening to it. Knocks. But I like every other, like if, like if someone's about to do a good neck crack, I want to I wanna see that. Ooh. Like I, I do enjoy that. That's why it kind of weirds me out that like, oh. Yeah, I'm the like same way. Other people's knuckles doesn't do it for me. Chiropractor pops something, uh, cracks something in my neck that I'd never had cracked. She like found it. She was like, what is this? And then she went and popped it. I was like, whoa. I had no idea. Crazy release. It's a good one. It's cool. Katie took me just like a general. She's like, so what's got going on? I was like, well, my knees crack. My ankle pops. My elbows crack. I've got that ankle. Crack. My wrist clicks. My knuckles crack every time I make a fist. But mostly I'm just here because my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> she like walked through a lot of them. The one that perplex, perplex, perplexed her the most was my wrist. She, my wrist. And I've showed you that my wrist just like you just squeeze it and it's just like you're just moving everything. Yeah. It's making noises and it clicks. She was down there for a while. She's like, what is this? My like, wrists are pretty chewed up from goalkeeping because it was just. I don't know. But that's from dive. freshman year of high school. I remember that. And my ankles. Clicks. My knee is loud. That scared her when I told her like, well, I was like, yeah, I need to do it right now. Do you want to hear? And she didn't. She's like, oh, that's that's a scary one. Steve got scared once. She's like, did you just pop your knee? Like, yeah. Locks up on me. What pick are you popping up right now, Jim? Well, I have my last two, right? Yeah. I lost internet, so I can't type anything. Okay. I can get there. Um, I have my last two. Let me look at my board right now. Because I think I have two left on my board. Oh. Um, fashion, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, I want to be able to understand it sometimes, but I don't. And there's some like real dumb haircuts that have been popular in our day and age. Mm. And I, I just can't get it. Okay. And then when everybody just gets the same thing, just because it's popular. Right. And I feel like such an outsider and I kind of want to like be allowed to understand why is why is everyone deciding this looks good? Sure. And I get perplexed by it, and then I feel dumb and small, and it annoys me. Okay. You got to try it out. That's why. Like the man bun. Like the man bun got way more popular than it ever should have gotten. The man bun, the, the hard The line hard lower. part. Yeah. Oh, the hard part. You got to try it. I didn't. And I, then you'll feel what everybody else feels. Well, no, I wouldn't try because I don't think it looks good. You haven't tried it. I've seen it. You don't need to feel something to see how it looks on others. I don't know. Like the one, the one that would get me, uh, like in college, I noticed it a lot. And I guess in high school too. Like the people who would be like, you'd have like the long Nike socks or something and like sweatpants tucked into that. Mm. And sweatpants that look, tucked into socks. That yeah. was a look. Yeah. And that look still never, kinda is. never made sense to me. I think it's still going. Still going. Um, I think I Ronnie, did, Ronnie did wear Ronnie that the other it? day. And I oh. Think you guys might be fighting. Maybe Ronnie has done that. I don't get I don't, it. There's things that happen that I don't get. I don't want to get it. Those ones. And then, I was, and then like joggers became popular. And I was like, oh, is that what they're going for with that? Because I like joggers. Joggers are great. I love some, some things come in there. I'm on board. 
It's when I don't, yeah, when you don't like understand when I don't get why it. this is. Why right. did, how is this popular? I want to, I feel like a dummy. My last pet peeve is when people make up dolphin rumors about others. It's irked me in the past. I don't think that can be on your board. I don't like it. I don't think that can be on your board. I don't board. like what it does to the other people. I don't think that can be on your board. I haven't touched. You've seen me, my hands right. here holding coffee, and it's on the board. So your grape doesn't seem to be with me anymore. I just said it. Now it's on the board. The grape's not with you. Oh, okay. The grape's with the pick. I think Joe's McFly, friend of mine. Yeah. Would be very mad to see that on the board. You, I think he'd choose. I'd say he. I agree with Jimmy's draft. I have. A, I that's my. I have a pet peeve of that as well. I think you'd. You think so? Lockstep. Yeah. Get him if in. he. If he just. He's right there. Yeah, you might want to scroll down and, and hide the names on the boards, and then just say which board do you agree with so far. You guys want to round it out, and then we'll have them come in. Yeah, let's probably round it out then. Let's round it out and do that. Um, great pick. Yeah, great pick. Um, I think it might get vetoed. Um, I'll be honest, he stole my pick. No. I will go with people being on the phone in places phones don't work. Fantastic one. Subways, elevators. If you're on the phone, you know this isn't going to work. We have years of data that show if you are on a phone call in a subway car and you are driving to a next stop, were you typing in there? I was trying. I thought you couldn't type in there. No, I can, but I didn't type the other one. My hands were on the mug. There is a 0% chance the phone call conversation continues. Like if you're on the subway and someone's like, I'm losing you. Hey, hey, you there? You there? You there? And, and, and you turn and you say, hey, we're under a bridge, guy. It's unreal. Uh, it's unreal. So I... I will uh, I will take that as my final pet peeve. All right, I, what's your pick, BBD? And I got Joe's coming uh, in to decide what who what board he likes best. Hurry up! This happened to me today when you wake up like way before your alarm, which nor but like you, and you have time to go back to sleep, but you just can't fall back asleep. And it's like Yo, now you're up. Can't fall back to sleep. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, like a, Joe's kind of a beautiful thing when we you drafted. Wake up just, oh, we drafted sleep. pet peeves. Who's who? Do you think won the board? No, they're oh, on the center here. shot. You can come around here. Share a mic with Jim. So one, is there something, there's one thing on there that isn't a pet peeve of yours? I, I don't know. I didn't really read the last one because I just seen one word and I don't want to read it. I think it. it's the one you're going to agree with the most. People making up dolphin rumors about other people. Bullshit. Like that gets I on. think I hate that more than feet. Yeah, it's a pet I peeve, right? might get on your nerves. Sounds like you're on my side. You like the first that's, column. That's the best list. Thank you, Joes. Appreciate you. Don't you think that's kind of conflicting to what's been happening? He had you guys. Yeah, you made it up. All three of you guys have fanned this. I made nothing up. Fake rumor. So just a a, a level of like Can people I say want something? shirts. Can I've I been out. I've been out on it. I mean, I, I don't even. Something? I don't even think it's cool. You've been out on it. There hasn't been a JJR where a <laughs> pet peeve, pet mentioned. peeve of mine that that it keeps getting brought up. I'll say this: I've fanned the fire a couple times, but if it was just me around the fire, it'd be out by now. Oh, I don't know. 